It's Tom Nixon here for Outspec TV at this, the 10th and final round of XCR09, the TAN Relays. It's make or break time here at the TAN with record numbers set to tackle the 3.8k course. With less than two points separating the Premiership contenders in the top three women's divisions, it's the relegation zone in the men's competition that will be the place to watch, with many teams fighting for survival in the Premier Division. We turn our attention first to the women's open division one, where it's Knox and Box Hill going head to head for the overall premiership. From the outset, it was Knox's lead first that set her team up well, leading Knox through the first transition, with Box Hill's Rachel Johnson close behind, with Melbourne University not too far back in third. Go Collingwood! Through the second and third legs, Knox continued to extend their advantage. Box Hill holding strong in third. With an enticing tussle between Glenn Huntley and Melbourne University developing out the remainder of the podium. At the line, it was Knox's Kayla McKnight, freshly returned from Europe in a World University Games silver medal, who led the Knox team home to the victory. With Glenn Huntley elevating the second position, Melbourne University in third. Line honours of the town would give Knox the season premiership for Women's Division 1 in XCR09. The Women's Division 2 proved another enticing tussle, with only two points separating title contenders Bendigo Region and Essendon entering the TAN relays. In a seesawing battle between Bendigo and Essendon, it was Essendon that prevailed, with Lyndon Hall leading her team home to the victory and also the XCR09 Premiership. Knox's second women's team held on for second place, with Bendigo holding on for third place. Turning to the men's Division 1 open race, the focus was not at the front of the field where Box Hill had already wrapped the XCR09 Premiership. The intense battle, however, was in the lower ranks between APS United, Sandringham and Melbourne University with the heat on to avoid relegation into Division 2 for XCR10. With all before them, APS United needed to finish four places in front of Sandringham or five places in front of Melbourne University to avoid the drop to Division 2. From the gun, the early lead went to Geelong Region's Brenton Rowe as he led the field through the first of six 3.8k laps of the TAN circuit. Closely behind was Glenn Huntley's Craig Huffer with Chris Hamer, Matt Johnson and Geordie Williams not too far behind. Through the halfway mark, it was Box Hill that had moved into the lead. In the relegation battle, it was APS United who was shading Sandringham with Melbourne Uni starting to drop off the pace. Entering the final leg, Knox had shifted just in front of Box Hill, with Essendon rounding out the top three on the track. But APS was the big news story, holding fifth just ahead of Sandringham and sixth, with Melbourne Uni dropping back to tenth. At the line, Andrew White would lead Box Hill home to the win, posting the fastest split time of the day. Then Huntley took second, with Knox rounding out the podium. But it was an ecstatic APS who held down 6th position, finishing clear of Sandringham in 7th and Melbourne University in 11th. APS United will hang on for another season in Division 1 in XCR competition, with Melbourne University only hanging on to their Division 1 spot for one year, returning to Division 2 for the 2010 season. After wrapping the Men's Division 2 Premiership earlier in the season, Eureka capped their XCR09 campaign in perfect fashion, claiming the TAN relays with Matt Griffin cruising into the line to take the win for the Ballarat-based team. With the record-breaking XCR09 season drawing to a close, this is Tom Nixon from the TAN track for Aspic TV.